Hey guys, and welcome back to Project Zero, or Fatal Frame, depending on where you're from. Uh, when we last left off, we made it to the final night, and things just... Ooh. Ooh, yes. Things just got bloody real. Let's just say that. I have a feeling... Uh, Tonight, especially, is going to be a turbulent night. Ah, right, there's a door there. Let's go and save. Oh, this is painful. Oh, God, this is painful. All right, let's I mean, the thing is, right, these aren't actually small beams that she's walking along. I mean, you'd have to be absolutely retarded to fall off these beams. You would, right? Ah, man. I'm hoping the next game I play... Uh, oh, hang on. Has a more s sprightly uh, main character. Now, this game might start going up uh, both days. As I run out of games. <laughs> run out of videos, I should say. Uh, I've been playing a lot more games uh, off camera. Uh, I've been trying to complete Days Gone, which is such a fucking wonderful game. And I've completed the main story now, and got the secret ending, and... Oh my god, the secret ending. Um, can't wait for more. Oh. The hell is this? Someone's been playing football. Oh. I guess that's the Shrine Maiden. Interesting. There's a painting with frightful colours here. Could it mean something? Maybe. This house is definitely in disrepair. That, oh, there's a big mirror. Maybe the mansion mirrors have some ritualistic meaning. Yes, maybe. I don't think, okay. Can we get in there somehow? I'm going to say probably not. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, let's keep going. For an early... Pl Ooh, a powerful force holds the door shut. There doesn't seem to be any other doors. Ah. There is a door here, apparently. Ah, right. That's the door, I guess. Apparently. Okay. I was going to say, can I actually, like, look in here, please? Thank you. There is a piece of the... Ho Ooh. Ooh, that woman in the prison. Uh, and it's screwing up again, because of course it is. And that's Kyrie. I guess that's the guy she fell in love with. Under the blossom tree. So perfect. So romantic. <sighs> yeah, we don't need emulation. Okay. That's now totally tripped my monitor out and kicked me back to my PC. That's great. We don't need emulation. No, Sony says we don't need emulation. Our old consoles are perfectly fine. Kiri and Mafoyu. That was her brother, really. No, it's not him. Maybe it's the man she loved when she was alive. Yeah, maybe. It's an old diary written in charcoal ink where the Holy Mirror used to be. Kiri's diary. While I was looking out the window today, I saw somebody walking in the garden. 
He didn't notice me. He was just walking around leisurely, uh, gazing at the trees and hills. I saw him again today, walking in the garden. He saw me once, too, and waved to me. I don't know why, but my face got hot, and I ducked out of sight. When I told the chief priest about it, he was terribly surprised. He told me I wasn't to look out the window again for a while. Ah, uh, right. I found a diary. Uh, today is the day I get to walk outside. I was walking uh, in the mansion, mansion's atrium when suddenly appeared from out of the guest room. When he suddenly appeared from out of the guest room. Uh, it's the first time I've talked to an outsider since I came here. It was so much fun. He came to see me. He let me out of the room and we went outside. He taught me the names of all the flowers. Everything about this is so new to me. My face got hot again today. But I didn't want to hide it this time. Oof. He came to see me again today. The chief priest said we mustn't go out into the garden. So we just stayed in the room and talked. He told me so many interesting things about the outside world. I feel so happy when I'm with him. So very, very happy. I walked in the garden with him today. How beautiful the cherry blossoms are. He taught me so much since we've met. I never even feel lonely anymore. Huh. So now we're getting to what's actually happened. The strangling ritual will be held soon. The master and the priest are performing their ab ablutions. And it looks like the whole family has gathered here at the mansion for the ritual. This mansion is usually so lonely. But, for t uh, but today, anyway, it's bustling with life. One of the priests was staring at me today. He looks so sad. I'm the rope shrine maiden. I have a very important obligation to fulfill. But how can I perform my duty as a Shrine Maiden now, feeling the way I do? Now that I've found out the true joy of living, and now that I've gone and gotten that poor man involved. Oh dear. How indeed. Anything else? So this is where she lived her life then. Oh. How do you explain that to a stranger that just turns up? Oh, by the way, there's this uh, young woman living in the dungeon. One, two, three, four. Okay. So she obviously... Ooh. Girl in white. So, I mean, I don't know if that young girl <coughs> is Kyrie. I mean, I'm guessing that is. Maybe when she was younger. Dungeon. It's literally straight up called the dungeon as well. Oof. Oh, sh shit. Okay, that's odd. I guess I'm just running. Um, but where are we running to? We can't go into the anteroom. We can go downstairs. Ah, shit. Shit. Okay, that's fine. Keep calm, cool, and collected. I'm guessing we're going into the atrium. Which is this way. I guess. Is she actually following us? I guess she is. And now that bullshit's disappeared. Can we go back now? Uh, okay. She's disappeared. Let's go save the game again. If we can. At least this door's unlocked. I wonder if there's any goodies to grab in here. Now, I'm guessing we've got to go back to the moon world because we've got the... 
we now finally have the oh a diary oh another diary it's been five days already since he stopped coming when i asked about it the chief priest told me he'd gone back to his home village why would he leave all of a sudden like that especially now when soon i won't be able to see him anymore at all wait does everybody know about this ritual i had a dream about him he was looking at me with sad eyes such sad eyes his eyes looked like they wanted to tell me something he didn't go home the priests did something to him but why hmm oh another diary why do they keep just like give you two diaries why don't they just have a, a diary that's <gasps> Pages long. I know, scary stuff, right? A whole diary that's four pages long, but you know. The priests hid him because they thought I wouldn't have been able to properly be the shrine maiden otherwise. What did I get him into? This is all my fault. I just wanted to be with him. I wanted us to be together forever and ever. That's all I wanted. I didn't want him to get hurt. So where they're say where she's saying they hid him, I I guess they mean they killed him. Not really sure why it says they hid him and not killed him, but... Shit. Didn't want to save it there, but I guess it doesn't really matter. That's fine. Okay, so let's see if we can have a little... Ooh. The door is nailed shut. Oof, okay. That's fine. Right. So let's get out of here. I thought it was going black and white again then. I was like, was getting ready to like, run. I'm guessing this place is going to be absolutely swamped with monsters. Oh my. Um, let's go to the Buddha room. Yeah, which is through there. Uh, right. See if we can find anything in here. Oh yeah, well we know there's stuff in here because we saw it. Priest's Manual. The gate is the entrance to the land of the dead. It has been feared and revered since ancient times. If the gate seal fails, the calamity will occur and the malice will pour out from hell. The souls of those touched by the malice are bound to this world and cannot be saved. We must prevent the calamity at all cost. That is the duty of the Himuro family. Oof. That's quite a serious thing. Priest's Manual. The priest, uh, the mirror, blessed with the five gods' protection, repels disaster. When the gate opens, stand before the mirror rock, which is in front of the gate, and point the mirror at the gate, then seal it with the maiden's rope. All elements mentioned above must be present for the ritual to succeed. We must prevent the calamity at all costs. That is the god-given duty of the Homero family. Right. But it only, like, happens here. Priest's Manual. Okay, so we're getting a lot of backstory, which is nice, but I was hoping for some more items. No document records the history of the gate in the mansion's basement. The Homeros have been given the duty of protecting the gate. They built a shrine on this land and performed the rope ritual. We must prevent the calamity at all costs. That is the duty of the Homero family. Right, but... So, will this eventually spill out and start taking over more of the world? Or, you know, does this just um, affect this area? I mean, if this just affects this area, it's not a huge deal, is it? Really? I guess, okay, so I guess we can't go through these rooms. Because if we try and go through these rooms... The abyss lights up but these rooms aren't lighting up so i guess they're locked permanently and i guess yeah nailed shut but then that's nailed shut as well so i'm not sure right let's check out the abyss which ain't even that far away to be honest I 
I don't know if we're going to come across any ghosties. Haven't found much so far. I was hoping for something. Now, obviously, the moon gate is here somewhere. We might find more killed people. Get a load of that ambient music. Ah, I'm guessing we can't go through any of these places. How interesting. Is there any goodies in here? If we could get around that strut, that would be great. Oh, you know, why, man? Why can't the PlayStation 5 play these games? What? There's no reason for it not to be. Why don't they release a HD pack of these games? They don't have to do much. They don't have to, you know, revamp the game. Just up res it. And spit it out onto the current consoles or the new console. That's all you got to do. There's probably a lot of people that would be happy with that. Guess we're not finding anything out here. Really? Oh. There is. There is something about. There's a burdened man. Hmm. How much was he worth? Uh, file. Nope. Photo. Fuck all, really. They're not really worth a huge amount, are they? Yeah. Ooh. Right. Kyrie's love. Oof. What was he worth? Five thousand. Oof. Okay, maybe he was worth it. Right. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad, I guess. Now, is there any items in here? I know they used to like hiding items around here. Nope. I guess not. We really are quite light on items, guys. Bit unfortunate. And one second. My phone's going. Okay, and we're back. Right, cool. Ah, oh. um, now I guess that's pretty much all there is to get. Let's go to the moon well. To the moon well. Now, I did read up one thing whilst I was gone, and that is this next save point coming up is the last save point before the end of the game. Ah, uh, that's. Heavy, if you ask me. Right, let's go. How do we go down? I w I'm wondering, I'm curious, if at the end of the game... How do we go down here? If at the end of the game it will tell us... Ah, there we go. How many uh, of the ghosts we got, yadi yadi. The hidden ghosts, I should say. Ooh. Nice. We haven't even used any spirit stones or anything yet. Nice. And we haven't fought any ghosties either, for that matter. I think um, we're pretty prepared when it comes to film. I mean, camera. We have a lot of good film. Take out the Type 37. I mean, how many more ghosts can there be, I guess? 
I guess we're going to find out. Now, we're on 20 minutes. So, let's go see if we can f finish. Oh, yeah, we've got the thing, haven't we? Okay, there's a pedestal in front of the mummy. It's reset, yeah. Do it. Do it. I heard a little noise over by the door. That was more than a little noise. Okay. That sounded like fucking thunder. Ooh. Oh, God. This place is savage. Sacred ropes are wrapped around the stone pillar. Okay. Right, let's go. What's this place called? Hellbridge. Oof. Right. Uh, looks like we've got some items in the front. Well, I guess this was a big family event. Oh man, this is really, this is really harsh, holy hell, uh oh, the game's vibrating and I have no picture, ooh, ooh, come on, come on, let's, ooh, shit in hell, is that, whoa, is there two of them, yeah, there's two of them, right, and we're not moving. Why am I stuck on the scenery again? Oh, this game's really bad at that. That's fine, though. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. There's another one behind me? Come on, game. Yeah, this game really isn't designed for fighting. Like, if you're fighting more than one ghost, it's, it's kind of silly, really. So that was the bound man, I think, or the long-haired woman, it might have been. Um, why is the... Oh, God, I hate the controls. Right, okay. Where is this bastard? There you are. There you are. Yep. I mean, I'm enjoying this game for sure. I'm really enjoying this game. But it's not Resident Evil or Silent Hill. I don't think it's personally. It's different, yes, but it's not. I mean, Silent Hill was, is, is good. I like Silent Hill. Um, oh, nice. And Resident Evil will always... Ooh. Resident Evil will always be my favourite, and to be honest, this isn't in the same league as Resident Evil. It's not in the same ballpark, but I guess it's a very different beast, to be honest. There we go. <clears throat> I think they tried to do too much with the combat system, and it just doesn't work. That's the biggest gripe with the game, for me. They try to do a lot of the combat system and it, the controls just don't work. Right, there we go. Mafoya's notes. That's not to say the game's no good, because the game is good. The game is very good. It's just, it's so hurt by the controls. Um, now, obviously Resident Evil is very simple in comparison so the controls are way more forgiving um i know it's weird but i see you sometimes here in the mansion i run after you but it always uh, but i always end up losing sight of you there must be some kind of warp in time here now we'll probably never be able to find each other were you worried about me is that why you came i hope you get this note 
I need you to help me. The force behind the curse of Hamura Mansion is a woman named Kyrie. She was sacrificed in a ritual. And her sad spirit was exposed to the malice that's built out of hell when the calamity happened. Now she's a miserable creature that taints everything she comes into contact with. Apparently I remind her of the man she was in love with. I somehow just knew that when she touched me. Uh, knew that somehow when she touched me. I plan on going to see her now. If I don't, this mansion will keep right on keep right on claiming victims. Right, okay. Kyrie laminate laments her ill-fated life but at the same time she also regrets not having been able to fulfill her duty as a shrine maiden i saw the image of kyrie as a child so that was her okay she was looking for somebody to help her to help her other tortured self oh man that's that's cool i like see the story in this game is good kyrie is like a person divided in two uh, miku I want you to help Kiri, Kyrie if you can. You have to seal off the hell gate with the holy mirror. Right, so we finally actually heard from our brother, which is interesting. Okay. Well, it looks like there's some items in here. Ah, oh, fucking tripping out again. God, that's so frustrating. Why didn't it do that before? Oh, no. Stop. No. Holy shit. Yeah, they couldn't really have done that in a more violent manner, could they? Not only do you have to die, no. it's fucking horrendous. That's so sad. And as soon as I hear the control, feel the control pad vibrate, I'm pausing it. Oh, uh, we have a rope shrine maiden. There she is. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, okay. Now they were never too hard. What a horrible fate that is. That's horrendous, man. Oh my god. That's so horrendous. You'd have thought there might be, you know, a, a, a nicer, a less utterly, rancidly violent way to die. But this device pulled the ropes. Yeah, and I guess all the blood spilled out and ugh, that was that, I guess. Oh, stone mirror. Okay. Stone mirror bathed in the blood of shrine maidens. Cool. All right, there is some vibration going on here. Let me check my notes, see if there's a hidden ghost in this room. Uh, yeah, there is. Okay, yep, apparently there is. I'm glad I've got these notes because I don't want to miss the ghosts. There we go. Six vengeance. Hell's that about? Wow, look at how much XP we have. File. Photo. 4,000. That's not bad. Right, camera. We've got so much film here. I read people were running out of film. Maybe, maybe people like me didn't realize that you could... Slow search. I mean, I guess. 
slow. Slows down the ghost movement for a limited duration. C. Makes ghosts more visible. Uh, search. Tracks the ghosts. And I guess I'll get that one. Paralyze seems to be the best move. See, these special functions... Maybe you can only get those once they're done. I don't know. Anyway, let's get out of here. The door's nailed shut. Uh, okay. Maybe went through the wrong one. Yeah. I guess so. Oh. Oh. Man, this is rough. Nice. I mean, herbal medicine, sure, we'll take it. Oh. Yeah, we'll have that as well, I suppose. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. She's a bit quicker, isn't she? How do we use the... Oh, right. I wanted to test that. So it's L to fire the paralyze. Got ya. I mean, we might as well use it. We've got it, I suppose. She really didn't want to let us go, did she? So what else have we got through here? Sacred water. Oh. Ah, I've been thinking about the camera mum left us. I know it was mum's and she left it to us when she died. But it used to belong to grandma, uh, Mikoto. They say it was the only thing grandma brought with her when she was adopted by the uh, Hinaska family. Hinaski. Hinaski? Family. Uh, in some documents I found here in the mansion, there were notes about a little girl named uh, Mikoto, the same name as our grandmother, finding a camera with an uncanny power. And then I found out that Mikoto's mother, the folklorist wife, died at the very same way mum did. Mum was no match for the ghostly power of that camera. It drove her mad, and she had to leave this world. Now, if that camera is the same one uh, Makoto's mother had. Anyway, I don't know the uh, specifics, but I'm pretty sure that camera is strongly connected to the curse on this mansion. Hmm. But if this is strongly connected to the curse, how's it used in the other games, which I have read and not related to this game? Uh-oh. So crazy, everyone's about to get driven mad. Right. Yep, I'm guessing that's where they realized they messed up. They messed up big time. They failed. Yeah, and that's why the mansion is in such disrepair. Man. That's a lot of dead people. Was that like 300 or something? No, it was 1,000... 1,300 uh, 1, odd. Okay. I 
take it. That's the gate to hell. It's the malice. I can't go any further. All right. Ah, right. Where's Mafuyu? Mafuyu! Uh-oh. <laughs> Evil McEvil. Yeah, that, that's not totally and utterly creepy and harsh. Kind of weird that, like, Mafoyu is not the guy she fell in love with. But she's just like, yeah, close enough. You'll do. Sure. Oh, fuck. Right, I guess here we go. There she is. Can we? Oh, we can't use powers on her. Or can we? I think we should probably use the best film we have. I'm just saying. Right. Where is she? There she is. Yep. Ooh. That hurt her. Come on. Is she behind me? She is behind me. Great. That's brilliant. I'm guessing... Ooh, I'm guessing... We can't freeze her. Which... I guess makes sense. That would be a little... Ooh. No way. Ooh. Uh. Um. Oh, the camera has the piece of the mirror inside. It's the last piece uh, of the mirror. Oh shit! Yeah, I guess I guess that is the last piece of the mirror. I can feel a strong spiritual power coming from the mirror. I need to use it to seal the gate. Uh, yeah. Let's like do that now. The rock has a recess and. Wait, was that it? Ho 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 ho! Eat it! Fry, motherfucker!
My duty is to keep this gate closed. Escape to me. The rest of you, hurry and escape. But what about you? I must stop the calamity, or else it will happen again. Don't worry about me. You must go. Are you serious? So we did all that to save our brother? Miku. The whole time Kyrie was guiding me, I could hear her screaming. Screaming for help. As the rope shrine maiden, she was destined to seal the gate. Yet she also wanted to be with the one yeah, she loved. Yeah, but you that that's but not you. Have both and was being torn apart by those two feelings which resulted in the calamity her spirit was touched by the malice and she became a creature that wanted to make others suffer as she had now free of the malice she is about to fulfill her duty as the rope shrine maiden which is good her soul must remain here Keeping this gate sealed off for all eternity. Bit harsh. All alone. Harsh. Uh. Endless pain. As long as she is free of pain. As long as she is not left hopeless. I wish to be by her side. Miku. Right. Okay. I mean, sure, why not? Look, their souls are all going back to where they belong. Well, at least we got closure for the souls. That's good, at least. Miku. I now realize why I was brought here. And I will accept this destiny of mine. Miku. Thank you for everything. Ever since that day, I stopped seeing things that other people don't see. So she lost her power. Hmm. Okay, um, well, that was, uh, something. It's kind of a very anticlimactic ending, and a very underwhelming anticlimactic boss. Um, but, you know, the game was good, I enjoyed it, it's cool, that's the first one, we still have... Uh, three more, I think. But obviously I'm going to have to wait until I get them. Um, yes, very rich, interesting story. Uh, well, you know, for a early 2000s horror, survival horror game, I suppose. Um, yeah, very good. Uh, the characters, like Miku and Mafuye. Well, I suppose Mafuye had a little bit more fleshing out as did the rest of the cast 
But Miku is about as paper thin as she possibly could be. Um, she's also needlessly pathetic as well. Like the way she moved around was very slow and clumbersome, which uh, I kind of hurted the hurted hurt the game. Now there are extra endings for this game. However, uh, one is only available in the Xbox version, which I do actually have. And one is only available if you complete the game on Nightmare, I believe. We got a rank E. Oof. But this ending that we just saw there, that is the canon canonic the the, the, <laughs> the canon ending. That is the actual true ending that leads on to the third game, from what I can tell. Um the difficulty of this game was a bit weird. Like, some of the ghosts were really hard. And I was hoarding supplies, like I do, because I kept expecting there to be a huge ramp up in difficulty, which somebody told me about. Um, yeah, I've been talking uh, about this game to some friends off, uh, well, in real life, I should say. And, yeah, it... The difficulty spike was not there. Um, it was actually a remarkably easy game. There's plenty of supplies as well. I think the ghosts were a little bit cheap. <laughs> That's an understatement. But the ghost designs themselves were great. And the art style in this game was very good. It's very um, kind of like early 2000s and early 90s Japanese horror. Kind of like The Ring and... Um, oh god, I used to watch loads of Tartan Asian... Uh, horror films back in the day and they they all kind of had the similar feel and they were all really good um and the grudge stuff like that and yeah i mean it fulfills that kind of it scratches that itch pretty well it does play out like you're um in that sort of universe and it is distinctively different from uh resident evil which is amazing, the best, my favourite. And Silent Hill. I do like Silent Hill. I don't have a hard-on for it like I do Resident Evil. But this, this definitely stands up on its own. I don't think it's as strong as Resident Evil. Um, I, think I, th I think I would put it on par with, with Silent Hill. Maybe, nah, I think I enjoyed this more than Silent Hill, actually. Yeah, I think. I'm probably going to get loads of flack for this, but I do think that Silent Hill is humongously overrated. But that's just me. Um, Silent Hill's really good, and I do like Silent Hill. I must be very clear about that. But it's it, it's held up on this this pedestal where it's unchallenged and blah 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 it's a good game but chill out it's yeah this was good i'm looking forward to seeing the others the sound design in this was fantastic the visuals were very nice and very smooth for again an early playstation 2 game um my my criticisms of this game really and it's not really the game's fault at all is the fact that we never had any re-releases for this I'm not really sure where this game is uh, in regards to licensing. I heard that Nintendo partly helped Maidens of Blackwater on the Wii U, and these games have never sold well. Um, and the the last one, Maidens of Blackwater on the Wii U, uh, was an absolute disaster. And, you know, a lot of people were like, well... That could be the end of um, the end of this franchise because of the sales. But to be honest, what a piss poor decision it was to to put it on the Wii U in the first place. You know, let's make a swan song for this series that a lot of people seem to really enjoy. Let's put it on a, a system that when we actually launched this game, the system was basically dead. Ah. Uh, you know, sometimes companies make decisions that just really hurt your brain. Um, but hey, there we go. Um, 
anyway, I'm going to stop waffling now. Battle mode. Yeah, I've read about baff, battle mode and all that. I, I don't, I'm not interested in it at all, to be honest. Um, you can just go and fight ghosts. Uh, but that game was good. Um, maybe we shall go through the Xbox version at some point. I have played the Xbox version a little bit. I've played about halfway through it um, since I had my working Xbox. And it's significantly better than this version. Visually, it's a lot nicer. It's a lot smoother. The controls are different and better. They are more modern, I would say. Um, and I, I do massively prefer the Xbox control pad to the DualShock. I never... The, the DualShock control pads, they feel really small and cramped and, and, and just awkward to go back to. Back in the day, I used to really like them, but we've moved on since this. Um, yeah, the actual DualShock 4... I really like it. It's a nice control pad, but I do prefer the Xbox controller uh, overall. Bigger, more comfortable. But then that 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 comes down to how big your hands are. I find the Xbox controller infinitely more comfortable. Um, I'm looking very much forward to trying the Dual Sense because that looks like a much bigger control pad, and I ha my hands are massive. So yeah, I got shovel hands. Yeah. Feels good to finally complete this game. Very anticlimactic. It f it feels like you've you've gone all the way through all this shit to save your brother, and then your brother stays behind at the end. And anyway, like if he's gonna stay behind and look after Kyrie's soul, surely he's gonna like starve to death down there in a few days. So he's actually only gonna be with her for a few days. And even if he has a long, healthy life, he's only going to be with her for like another, what, 50 years? And then what happens after? I'm thinking too much about this. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, till next time.